welcome to the Weekly Intuitive Art Studio. I am going to be totally honest. I am nervous today. Today's prompt is abstract self-portrait. I am very uncomfortable um, doing what I think of as drawing people. And an abstract self-portrait is not necessarily drawing people, but... Um, for some reason I get that same anxiety. So anyway, let's just jump right into it, right? So we can just move through it. I've started off by taping this off and um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna start with paint. That's what feels right to me. So um, hopefully you'll uh, come along for this journey and make your own abstract painting. Let's see. When we think about looking at, at like an abstract self-portrait, um, it's kind of interesting because it can tell us a lot about ourselves, like do a little bit of self-reflection, how are we feeling, what do we think about ourselves in this moment, there's so many interesting things that can come from it. So let's see. I'm noticing that this, these circles going, um, I, some pink circles, I'm very fair skinned. And when I get nervous or anxious or any of those feelings, I turn bright red, like bright red. Like, like I've had people ask me if I'm having like a medical problem. <laughs> I've been that way since I was a kid. And when I was in graduate school, it was real bad because um, I'd have to give really long presentations. Oh my gosh, I can remember just like total full on panic. Um, so this is what this is reminding me of is my red cheeks. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, this is so interesting. I have blue eyes, so I think this is um, part of that. It's interesting to try to like draw a representation of yourself. Um, it's almost really difficult to do something other than what you see in the mirror. Do you know what I mean? Because that's just what we're used to seeing about ourselves. Um, so I'd be curious to see what you come up with. Like maybe yours will have some different strokes or... Um, you know, some differences in that way. Some like texture and color that maybe you don't, uh, wouldn't have not automatically assumed to be part of you. But um, it'd be interesting to see if you come up with ideas that you're used to seeing in the mirror or ideas that um, are different than that. I love intuitive painting. It's just such a freeing thing just stuff happens and you just have to kind of like go with it. So I've been putting together um, an eight week, eight week um, guided course. I really um, would like to be able to do more one-on-one -on -one sessions with people. I love that. It's just so wonderful to see people in that way. Um, so I've been working on putting it together and I think I'm ready for beta testers. So I'll have a few, just a couple few people to go through it, um, go through a couple weeks of the program just to kind of give me feedback and see what it feels like. So if that's something you're interested in, reach out. Um, you can email me at andy at thecompasswild.com. There's also a page on that at, on my website at um, thecompasswild.com. But I think it'll be amazing. I spent a lot of time working on this and doing research about um, different ways to move through the creative process to enhance 
our feelings of um, letting go of perfectionism, reducing stress, um, allowing your creativity to flow a little more freely. So I did a lot of work about those topics and um, I was trying to do a, a four week program, a one month program, and I just like could not get it to that length because it's just so much information that needed to be covered. So it turned into an eight week program. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how often I want to um, offer it and it might just be that it's, I can do it in the spring and the fall because you know I have my kids home for summer and I really uh, find it challenging to schedule things when they're home because I want to be present with them. And then the holiday season, everyone's so busy, so that might not be the best time to um, to do it. So I'm still trying to figure that stuff out, but the beta testing is ready. So if you're interested in maybe um, being someone who gives it a try, just email me. Oh, this is turning out interesting. wonder what your self portrait's going to look like. I find myself mixing a lot of colors over here. I have this like um, lavender going and some cream colors. And a lot of pink because, well, I'm a pink person. <laughs> so funny, my, my kids, we all joke, we're like, um, one of my sons has really olive colored skin and I'm really fair skinned and my other son's super fair skinned like even more fair skinned than me and so we joke that you know I'm pink and Arlo's olive olive because <laughs> I just can't help it I'm just a pink skinned person Oh, this is turning out so different than I had maybe anticipated. So last week when I was making this video, it was a rainy day. Today it is another rainy day. It's supposed to rain all day long and I secretly love it. I know, I just do, I just do, I really love it. a little bit less. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. So with that program I'm, I've put together, it is, um, I'll tell you a little bit more about it while we're painting. Or, um, it's eight weeks and each week has a live call, like one-on-one -on -one call, where we'll talk about the creative process um, and do some therapeutic art together. And then each week there's two like mini call or two mini um, activities to do in your art journal to sort of explore more therapeutic art and how that might feel for you. Um, so yeah, it'd be like three act, three art activities a week, the 45 minute call, and um, there's eight weeks of Marco Polo. So Marco Polo's a video texting app, which I think will be so good because then when you're creating art, if you come up with something, you can just take a little video um, with your phone and then send it to me and I'll be able to kind of be in that witness that um, moment with you, which I think would be so cool. Anyway, I'm really excited about it. Ooh, now I'm just using this, it's a pale gold. I hardly ever use gold, but um, it's out today. Showing up for this self-portrait. Let's see.
Therapeutic art is so fun. I am like, get messy, get wild. Who even knows what's happening here? Oh my goodness. I feel like as a adults, which I'm assuming we all are, you don't really have a lot of opportunity to be just kind of crazy. You know, like we gotta keep it together for the children, for the <laughs> for the for the house, for the pets, for the you know, keep everybody fed. And just that carefree feeling we just don't get very much. And I'm curious with my art, like, can I get that feeling of being free and a little bit wild with my art? Because I think that's an important feeling to have. I think um, it's easy to get resentful and worn out if we don't allow ourselves places or opportunities to feel, to feel free. So I'm really working on that for myself. Like, can I get wild and throw caution to the wind? Is that possible for me with my painting? Because we all know I'm not going out to the club. Nope. At this point, by now, you've figured out I am much more likely to be in my jammies and asleep by 8.30. I can't help it. It's my favorite thing. Okay, I feel like I'm done with painting. I'm going to move on to maybe um, these woody pencils, which I love. Um, I think the colors that are calling me are these pinks and gold. And maybe here's the blue. Let me get my... Sorry for all the racket. Get my... Um, pencil sharpener out for these. Um, this one's worn down. These have the most beautiful pencil shavings. I know that seems ridiculous, but look at them. Look how big they are. Isn't that beautiful? I know you're probably thinking she's lost her mind. But I just love it. Okay. wet down here so it's mostly just scratching it well I'd say this is turning into a self-portrait kind of curious um, like, what do you think your self-portrait tells you about yourself? Oh, that's still wet, too. I notice I have these really big, <laughs> these really big cheeks and nose. And it's like, it's kind of a close-up, close-in thing going on here. I don't really know what that means. Like, maybe I'm interested in looking at myself closer. Maybe this is just how it unfolded. No idea. Sometimes it doesn't have to mean anything, right? Like we don't have to focus on the meaning. We can just be curious about it and see if anything comes up for us. And if it doesn't, we can just be like, all right, well, at least I had some time creating today and that's always worth it. getting my gelatos out now. I was wondering where the rest of these went. Um, these are 
the little leaves from my workshop where people wrote while they were why they wanted to come why they wanted to be part of the workshop that's so special it feels like such a um, gift to be able to hold people's wants in my hand especially um, now that I know those ladies it's such a beautiful thing Well, I would say this is getting wild. Ooh, I like this blue. It's getting wild in here. Love these gelatos, they just smear so nicely. Oh, this is so interesting. I think what's so funny about a prompt like this is a lot of us get in ruts, even when we think we're not. Like, right, I mean, I consider myself decent at intuitive art. I mean, I've taken a lot of classes. I'm mean, certified to be an art facilitator. Like, it's something I feel like I've put a lot of time into. And still, we get stuck in ruts of, like, um... You know, I'm much more likely to draw plants or landscape or um, abstract. Like, that is my comfort, I think. And so, something like this is totally outside my comfort zone. Um, and doing it is a great challenge. It's great for me to just kind of get outside of what I usually do, even if it's a quarter past crazy. Um... It's just a really good thing to, to get uncomfortable. We learn so much when we get uncomfortable. It's a really beneficial thing. And I am officially uncomfortable. It's official. All right, I'm going to get some of my, I think I'm going to use these ink tent sticks. This is what they look like. Um, and get some more color in here. Just feel like I want it to be really bright. It's interesting because I'm in a season of, um, kind of unfolding. You know, I homeschooled the kids until this year. So I'm just getting back to myself. Like my rhythms are, um, and homeschooling was wonderful in so many ways. It was a time well spent together, getting to know each other and being with each other. But um, the reality is I am an introvert and um, I need quite a bit of downtime to feel like myself. Um, in downtime meaning like just need to be in a room by myself to feel like myself so I have just got the kids back in school this year and I've been kind of coming into my own and starting to feel back to myself where I have time um, to work on my my work and myself a little bit more um, and that feels so bright and so expanding to me. And I just want to, I think this self-portrait's kind of um, becoming a nod to that. I'm noticing all these colors and I'm wondering if I'm feeling more a, a colorful, more um, bright, more expansive. Which are all really great things to feel. I 
everybody's so different. Our needs are all different. Um, what works for us is all different. And it's just curious being a human and constantly evaluating that. Because what works for one person may not work for you. And that's okay. You can do your own thing. These, what I'm doing with these is I'm just dipping them in water. I really like that effect. So I get the end just wet and then I just kind of dot or smear. Just get some texture going. Um, I'm gonna of a bluish greenish color this is looking so wild okay I think I'm done with those I'm gonna use a paper towel and just blot up any extra moisture because I'm feeling called now to um, maybe use a marker let me see I'm gonna go right over here and get my paint pens. I have this um, type of paint pens that just is from Michaels. There's nothing fancy about them. Some of the lids are off. Um, I'm gonna get the, the black one is what I'm gonna use. Sometimes these need to be primed. Um, Oh, that one's working pretty good. So I'm going to got some. Are those eyelashes? What is going on here? this really bright um, pink kind of highlight these areas oh my goodness this is so wild <laughs> does that look like me you guys have seen my picture enough I would put my face under here but there's not enough space These are the distress crayons. We call them de-stress crayons because they're so, um, they glide so easily. So fun for just making little smears and shapes. these um, jelly roll pins this one's like a really light blue it looks almost white but I think it's more of a light gray light blue I love these jelly roll pins I know there's a lot of great white pins out there but I find a lot of them don't um, roll on top of paint very well of course the paint pins do but the actual ink pins but these jelly rolls they do pretty good. Let me see. There's another kind I have here somewhere. Well, I'm not going to dig through to find it, but um, it's just always making marks without the ink leaving the ink behind. Let's see.
This is so subtle, but so beautiful. If you end up making yourself an abstract self-portrait, share it with me. You can tag me on Instagram at the Compass Wild, or you can email me. Whatever feels right. I love getting both of those things. Okay. This is wild looking. <laughs> I feel this urge to put something like nature, like a leaf, or um, that's just like what came to my brain, and I'm not sure how to do that. And this might, this is a problem that comes sometimes with intuitive art. You're like, I don't really know how to add the thing that wants to be added, um, and so maybe you just need to sit on it for a minute or. Just kind of take a moment. I think I'm going to take this pencil and maybe put put some leaves in here. Sometimes a, a pencil mark is just subtle and really nice. And I love nature, which you guys have probably already heard a million times by now. So it makes sense why I'd want some leaves in here. reminds me of my my hikes with my kiddos and my dog so one of the cool things about intuitive art is it doesn't have to make sense you might end up with something real weird and that's totally fine you're just doing this um, as a way to kind of move through how you're doing and sometimes weird stuff needs to come out that's just part of it you know kind of part of the human experience it gets weird sometimes at least it does for me okay that feels good see I don't know if you can see with the um, the light but that that's what I have some of the leaves going across <clears throat> oh I like that I think I'm gonna add a couple more one more here I'm kind of feeling like I'm um, maybe done I would say this is a really interesting representation peel this tape off. Let's see what we have. You never really know. Taking the tape off does something. It's like um, changes everything. That's why I like working with tape so much because it just feel like it just changes. It can change the whole outlook. All right. Well, there's a self-portrait. It's kind of wild. It's kind of crazy, but I did it and I survived. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you create. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye. The Compass Wild.